Hi everyone, we are going to look into the reading, see what comes through and what messages I have for you. So this reading is for all star signs. If you're here, hello and welcome. I feel that there can be some signs for you. And I also wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, intention items, everything is listed down below. I offer personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work and prayers. It's all listed down below. There's also intention items for various areas of your life. These are items that are handmade, meditated with, and sage. There are thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, um, cards, embroidered cards, but also embellished cards as well. Um, this is actually just my sample <laughs> that I made, but um, it's all on the website and there's, you know, candles, sage bundles, teas as well, and um, very special items which people have seen results with, <laughs> okay? So yeah, it's it's there for your browsing if you want. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at your reading. Whoa, okay. I just I just keep wanting to shuffle, so I'm just shuffling. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that when I would feel like I wanted to stop, that there would be a card that just sums up the situation. And I knew I had to get there. And it's this one. Okay. This is, this was the card that was just sitting like that. So it's this one, 10 of swords. I think we're reading on a no contact situation. I really genuinely do believe it. And the 10 of swords here shows, you know, a very shut off energy. And what I'm seeing here is that there is a real sense here of this person wanting to communicate with you because, I mean, just look at the rest of the cards. It just shows a lot of progress. It shows a lot of movement. It shows a lot of, I want to come towards you. I like you. I care about you. I really understand you. I, I want to be there for you. But I know it's frustrating to hear the but, isn't it? But I'll tell you what that but is. So we've got here three of pentacles, wheel of fortune. Clearly, they want to communicate with you. I think that this is really going down the line of no contact, um, you know, messages from your person, like what's happening during no contact. And what I can definitely tell you is that the six of wands shows that they will absolutely break no contact and speak to you. What I see that they're hiding from you is their emotions. Okay, they are not comfortable with being emotionally emotional. My gosh. How else do I explain that emotionally emotional? They don't like showing their emotions. It's something that just does not feel good to them. As a child, they were never really allowed to show their emotions. If they did, it's something that they would get told off for. So it actually caused them trauma. Like it literally caused them trauma to be emotional because they associate that with being told off. They associate that with punishment basically, which is so sad. Um, my gosh, that's so sad, isn't it? wow, you know, it, oh gosh, yeah, you can understand why this person does not like to be emotional, you can understand why they shut things off very quickly before things got, you know, heavily emotional for them, they have a really hard time with relationships because they feel that it's not right to feel emotions, but what they've realized recently with somebody around them is that emotions are very normal and it's okay to be emotional, so they've clearly realized that, and now that they realize that a lot more, they naturally do want to progress towards you and come towards you because they really like you. They care about you. They want to be with you. You know what I mean? Um, and they really understand you and genuinely feel that you're an amazing person. And that's definitely something that we do have here. Okay. Now that being said, I think the real reason that they hid their feelings from you is because of their emotions. You know, they, they hid it because they weren't allowed to be emotional. But what they're realizing now is that emotions are literally life. You know, emotions are life. Comment that down below, actually. You know, it's a really good way to aff affirm yourself as well and to affirm them and affirm the entire situation that emotions are very, very important. And um, emotions are, you know, happiness, it's sadness, it's joy, but it can also be frustration. It can be anger. It can be temper. You know, um, emotions are very, very um, normal. And also just, you know, crying and, and being understanding. Like all of these things are part of emotion. But comment it down below. Emotions are normal. 
comment it down below. It's an, it's an affirmation. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the main thing here, especially with the fool, is that they will reach out to you. And the hermit shows them being like very in their thoughts, but they are really thinking about things and they're realizing just how unhealthy it was for them to never be able to go down the path of expressing themselves. They found it so, so difficult because they weren't allowed to as a child. So they got conditioned by their parents to feel that way and to be that way and to just be in situations that are just like so-so. But love isn't so-so, and life isn't so-so. Life is supposed to be exciting. You know, you, you feel it to the most. That's emotion. But they weren't allowed to feel it to that level. That's really sad, you know, because they just haven't felt good. It's a whole situation on its own, which is a whole other situation on its own. Do you know what I mean? But you got the hermit, page of cups, ten of pentacles. King of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands. Oh, they sound so similar. Actually, it's it's like saying the Eight of Pentacles and then the Ace of Pentacles. Like sometimes they can sound so similar. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way I speak, right? It's probably what it is. So we've got here the World and Man. Do that. Let's put the Sun in the middle and press down here. Okay. Now, just because they hid all of this from you because of how they've been conditioned as a child and the patterns that they've had in their childhood does not mean that they are going to repeat this towards you continuously for the future. I do see them healing. I see them being so much more awakened and realizing that how their parents treated them was not the best. And they're becoming a lot more mature to realize that. It is a process for them in which they can be slow because of that. But the Four of Pentacles shows that they still have so much love towards you in their heart. They still care tremendously about you. They're very attracted towards you. They think about you constantly. They think about what things could have, should have, would have been between you both. They feel very attracted towards you. They feel that you are just such a huge part of their life. They feel that you are so kind, so caring, so genuine. Five of Cups, you know, very, very powerful energy, which absolutely does go to show that they have so much love and care and a deep need and desire towards you. And, you know, they really will come forward, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. They see a future with you. They like you. Um, emotionally, they have strong feelings towards you. And doing this no contact, not only have they realized that they feel so much towards you because the two of you don't have contact, obviously, but their heart has grown, grown fonder of you and they've realized that... So what happened, okay, is that they felt a lot towards you and they shut off very quickly because of their emotions. What they realized is when they shut off, their problems didn't just randomly go away. In fact, they still felt more problems. They felt that they still had so many emotional issues. So when they started speaking to other people, other people outside of their family made them realize that actually, do you know what, maybe it's good for you to work on yourself and do this and go do that and maybe even go to therapy and, and do this. And then they realized that all of this had nothing to do with you. Do you know what I mean? Like they thought that it's like an elimination diet where you think, oh, you know, my, my, uh, I have a headache all the time. So let me cut out this particular food. Maybe this food is aggravating it, you know, and then you cut it out and you realize, oh, that doesn't actually do anything. Uh, that food hasn't made any difference. It's a bit like that, okay, where they kind of went on this sort of elimination diet to make themselves feel better and they cut you out of their life. But actually, their life hasn't improved. So it was never you to begin with. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say here is that they now realize the root cause and the root problem being their emotions and how they were conditioned as a child. Not that it was your fault for making them feel like this. And that's really the thing that I'm seeing. So they have realized that with time and distance away from you and not having contact, the heart is growing fonder. It's growing so much stronger towards you that <laughs> they can't stop thinking about you. And that, that literally is it, you know? Like it's literally it. Like that is what they feel towards you. That's how, that's just how it is. <laughs> wow, that is just the most, isn't that the most, um, I'm so descriptive. That is the most descriptive thing I've ever said. <laughs> Not really. I'm, I'm being sarcastic, but that's that's what we have, you know? So, my gosh, they really do think about you a lot, and it's, it's really obvious that they do, okay? So let's have a look and see what's coming through with the cards and what messages we have.
Okay, this is really interesting. So lurking around social media, they might be lurking around your social media accounts. We also have making a post about you, which shows that they could be, you know, posting a quote or something in regards to you. It might not be like a picture of you, okay, let's say, but it could be something that is in relation to you. So it could be like your favorite song or song lyrics from your favorite song. It could be um, a place that both of you went to in the past and they, you know, go to it again and then they post about it, you know. So it's, it's going to be something in regards to you. That's what we're seeing. Oh, soon. So that means they are going to contact you soon from what I'm seeing. And we've got a missing you energy. When they contact you is going to really depend person to person in regards to your situation. If you want a specific time frame for when they will contact you, we can do that via a private reading. And all the reading information is always down below. Um, but I do see that they will contact you soon and they do miss you tremendously from what I'm picking up on. So that's definitely quite powerful okay you're not out of sight or out of mind in fact distance and absence make the heart grow fonder but they've also gotten down to the root cause of why they have been like this they themselves have gotten down to the root cause so there is a silver lining somewhere all right so this is your reading um and your affirmation for this reading is missing you okay just let's affirm them and affirm yourself as well and that's what we have here so this is you're reading, um, comment down below the affirmation, especially if this resonates with you or if you claim this reading. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items. And I will see you all very, very soon as well.